row last year, I swore I was never coming back. I was like, let's just leave it there, I was happy. And um, today, this morning, I didn't even want to race. I was almost not going to start. I was just so fearful of what was potentially out there. So I had to break through that one. And then at 40 k's, I had a really um, um, cramp of diaphragm. Some asthmatics, so I had the diaphragm breathe, and so I wanted to pull it there, but I was just like, just get to the next checkpoint, just get to the next checkpoint. <laughs> and um, and I did, and I just waited for it to heat up a bit, and then um, just ran at home strong. Yeah, just tried to stay positive. And yeah. how did you feel, obviously, a slight change of the course? How did that turn out for you? Oh, look, I thought it was a little bit harder. No, Maybe no. a little bit more gritty. I had to guts it out a bit more of some of the climbs where maybe the other section, even though it was technical bits, it was maybe a bit more flowy and runnable. So um, I, I didn't think it was any easier. I don't know how the boys did. I don't know if they were harder, faster or what. But um, for me, it, it, it was... For me it was more difficult than the other course. It's a beautiful event, um, some of the most magical rainforest and views of waterfalls. It's very well marked so you don't have to think, that's like crucial. You just want to be able to trust in the race directors, make sure you're going to get looked after the whole way around. It's perfectly marked. I love, um, I really love Run Queensland. And they do a beautiful job, they put the heart and soul into it. and. I, I just think that it's a really well-run event I, and, and I've raced all over the world, so it, it's awesome. <laughs>